Skyrim VR is one of the most incredible experiences that you can have in virtual reality. However, straight out the box, it is a pile of hot garbage. The developers did absolutely nothing to make this port work. However, thankfully, the modern community saved it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to mod Skyrim VR using Mod Organizer 2. If you've been looking to add some extra immersion, fix a few bugs, or completely change up your Skyrim VR experience, you are in the right place. Mod Organizer 2 can be a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry, that's why we are here. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set it up, organize your mods, and start playing with an enhanced Skyrim VR that looks and feels just the way you want. So grab your headset and let's get started. Now throughout this video, you will be seeing chapters. I highly suggest you use them just in case you miss a vital step. So do have a look at them in this video tutorial, as well as showing you how to mod Skyrim VR using Mod Organizer 2. I'm also gonna be recommending five very important integral mods that you should always play with. And on top of that, I'm going to be giving some honorable mentions to some really good mods that I've had a lot of fun with over the last few years. If this has been helpful, please do consider liking and subscribing because it really does help me out. And I will be putting out a lot more videos very similar to this one. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, first and foremost, I would always recommend starting a new install without any previous mods and I'm sticking this on my M.2, which is my fastest SSD drive. Now, while that's downloading, I'm gonna head over to nexusmods.com and I'm gonna download Mod Organizer 2. All the links to all the downloads required in this video will be put in the description of this video. So, have a look. Now, once you've successfully downloaded and installed Skyrim VR, it is very important that you run it at least once and then close it. All you need to do is head to the menu and close it. And the reason why is because Skyrim VR needs to create a few background files that are integral to the modding process. Now, remember the Mod Organizer 2 file that we downloaded? We're gonna run it and that's gonna install Mod Organizer 2. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install it in the same drive that I installed Skyrim VR. So that's in the M.2 drive. And I'm gonna make a folder called MO2 Skyrim, just so that I know which folder I have. And if I have another instance of MO2 for a different game, I'm not gonna get them confused. Now, when MO2 runs for the first time, it's gonna ask you to create a new instance. And I always recommend that you create a global instance. What this will do is it'll allow you to have multiple versions of MO2, and you'll be able to switch between them based on whether they're a different game or a different set of mods. So choose create a global instance. And once you've chosen it, it's gonna ask you which game you would like MO2 to manage. You are of course gonna scroll down and find Skyrim VR and select the name you want to choose for it. Just keep pushing next and you will eventually reach the MO2 main page. Now, once that's been done, we are gonna head over to Silverlock and we are gonna download the VR version of SKSE, that's the script extender. It's a very important file and it is required for all mods to work. Once you've downloaded it, we're gonna head over to our downloads folder and we're gonna extract it. Now you are gonna need 7-zip in order to extract it, but once again, links will be in the description of this video. Now, once Skyrim script extender has been extracted, we're gonna head over to Steam, we're gonna locate our game, we're gonna right click it, we're gonna push properties, we're gonna click installed files, and we're gonna click browse. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to drag all of these Skyrim script extender files directly into the Skyrim VR folder where the Skyrim executable is, just like this. Now we're going to open MO2 and we're going to set up our SKSE loader. Now, because we've already dragged the files across and manually installed it, it should be here in the drop down list, like you can see. However, should it not be, and I'm going to remove it now to show you, this is how you can add it. What we need to do is we need to go back to this drop down list right here and we need to push on the edit button. 
once we've pushed that, we can push the plus button and then go to the add file button. And what that'll do is take us to where our executable is. We want to choose the SKSE loader. Now it's highly unlikely you're gonna to need to do this because we've just manually installed it. However, it's good to know how to just in case things go wrong. Now that we've successfully set up the Skyrim script extender launcher, we're gonna head straight over to the folder where MO2 is installed, and we're gonna create a shortcut for our desktop. Now it's very important that we set that shortcut to run as administrator. So I'm gonna drag it onto the desktop. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna go over to properties. I'm gonna to go to compatibility, and then I'm gonna choose run as administrator. And this is gonna make sure that it runs correctly every time. Now that I've got the shortcut, I'm gonna test out the Skyrim script extender. So let's run the game by dropping down the drop menu to SKSC and pushing run. And here we are in game and as you can can see Bethesda have given us a piece of crap. I am a floating pair of hands, I clip through everything and it's just terrible. However, the good news is I've got MO2 installed, I've got the script extender installed, I am ready to mod this game. So let's get going. Now from the MO2 menu, we are going to select settings and we're going to go over to Nexus and we are going to make sure that our Nexus account is connected. That's going to allow us to automatically download mods from Nexus mods to the app. Now here we are in Nexus mods and we are going to start downloading some very important mods. We need to make sure that we are logged into our account and it's the account that is paired to MO2. We're gonna head over to Skyrim Special Edition, and that's because all Skyrim VR mods are downloaded via Skyrim Special Edition. Now, the first mod that we're gonna download is gonna be called Sky UI VR. Links in the description, and it is very important. It's gonna make sure that your UI is nice and clean. The second mod we're gonna download is VRIK. Now, VRIK will make sure that you're not a floating pair of hands. It's brilliant for immersion and it just makes the game so much more enjoyable. Nobody likes a floating pair of hands in a VR game. The next one is Higgs and that's completely going to overhaul how you handle items. You can pick them up with your hands. You can do the Alex glove style picking up things, which I'll demonstrate later. Very, very good for immersion. And the last mod we're going to download is Plank, which is going to essentially allow you to mess around with NPCs in the game. You can grab them, you can push them, you can annoy them. It's a lot of fun. So let's head over to Sky UI VR, select files, select mod manager download, and it's gonna automatically download using MO2. In MO2, if we go over to the downloads tab, we can see that it has been downloaded and it's ready to install. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go through all of the other tabs and we're gonna download them just as such. Go to files, Go to Mod Manager Download and it'll automatically do it. Some of them will have prerequisites. We've already got the Skyrim Script Extender and we've already got Sky UI, so we don't have to worry about that. Just click Download and it'll automatically download it. Now that we've downloaded all of those four mods, we're gonna go to the Downloads tab in MO2 and we're gonna right click all of them and we're gonna click Install. Now it wants to set up a category for them, but you don't really have to. Just push OK and push Proceed. For every single mod, push Install and Proceed. Now once they're all installed, go over to the left-hand side and toggle them on. Just because they're installed does not mean that they are ready. Now that we've toggled them all on, we can play the game. We just need to make sure that we have SKSE selected and we push run. And here we are guys, we are in the game. We have hands, we can push things. We can interact with our environment. Check it out, I can grab this guy, no problems. Well, problems, he's gonna attack me if I do that too much. But this is how the game should be played. I haven't installed any extra uh, textures, but have a look at this. This is Sky UI. So the UI is completely overhauled. It's so much cleaner. It's so much easier to use. Um, I'm actually holding the weapon and I can use the weapon to affect my environment. Um, it's just brilliant. There are so many small features that have been added with these four mods. But they've completely overhauled the game. Now, this is how you pick items up. If you want, you can pick them up normally or you can do the VR Half-Life Alex flick. It's red because it means 
if I pick it up, I'll steal it, but I'm not picking it up. I'm just interacting with it. Um, it's really, really cool and it's lots of fun to do. You can do it to armor of enemies that you've slain, or you can just pick them up normally. But this is something you'd never be able to do in the base game. And this is just with four basic mods that I've installed. In a moment, I'm going to show you texture mods, weather overhaul mods, and a whole bunch of spell mods. Now I'm going to make some honorable mentions here, but we're going to go over to Nexus and we're going to go to popular mods of all time. And here are a bunch that I would recommend. Uh, first and foremost, I would highly recommend that you get Calente's bodies. Um, it just makes it a lot more immersive and it makes the models look a lot better. Static mesh improvements is a brilliant mod. It makes everything else look better as well as landscapes. Um, everything I'm pretty much selecting here. Apocalypse is a brilliant mod with hundreds of spells. Um, it completely increases the magic side of things. Uh, quality world map is really good. It makes the world map look a lot better than the janky self. And you know, I can just keep scrolling down and I can keep adding more mods and more mods and more mods, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, realistic water too is very good um, also very important is the Skyrim flora overhaul so I'm just right clicking these and I'm opening in new tabs as I go through I've got enhanced light effects which is very very nice majestic mountains is a very very good mod and also very important noble Skyrim mods HD 2k that is a 2k resolution pack it is essential that you get that mod. That's gonna be around about two gigabytes of brand new textures. The options are limitless, guys. I would definitely download the ones that I listed there, especially the texture packs. All you need to do is select files, select download by mod manager, and then make sure that once you're in the mod manager that you are right clicking them and installing them and selecting them. They might have prerequisites if they do download those prerequisites too. But other than that, this is how you mod Skyrim VR. And with just a couple mods, the game is completely transformed and looks absolutely stunning. I cannot describe to you how incredible it feels to play this game with such incredible textures, weather overhauls, new spells, and just new features left, right, and center. This is how Skyrim VR is meant to be played. Please don't forget to check out the chapters if you think you've missed anything and drop me a comment if you have any questions about the process and I'll be happy to answer them. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if this video has been helpful for you and as always guys I will see you in the next one.